Well, howdy, folks. Howdy. This thing even on? I said, howdy, folks. Howdy. That's a whole lot more gooder. I'm Conductor Nick here on the back of the train, and I'd like to be the first to welcome y'all to the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. You can turn around and wave to me. I'm back behind y'all here. There y'all are. And waving us out up there at the front of the depot is my good friend Richard. Everybody wave and say bye, Richard. Bye, Richard. We'll be seeing him here in about 20 to 30 minutes, unless we have my average, which is five to six hours. Over there beyond Richard on your left hand side, you got the half dollar holly's old timey carousel. Go on over there, ride yourself that carousel. Got bears, donkeys, and horses to choose from. And then go on over to the bears at the holler. Where you can tuck your own bear, put some clothes on that bear. That way you don't go home with a bear bear. Going home without a bear at all would be unbearable. <laughs> now folks, we are spreading Ozark tears. We go along the track here. If you see anyone who's not on the train, just wave to them and give them a good old Ozark greeting. And they will smile and wave back just because they're jealous and you're on the train and they're not. Folks, you're going to see a green two-store building up ahead on the left-hand side. The world's famous Silver Dollar Saloon. Go on in there, see some of the longest and the prettiest legs you've ever seen. And I am just talking about the bar school. Go on in there. Don't miss our saloon until it's our 50th year anniversary at the saloon. Now everybody say, Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Yes, those pesky ball knobbers came and burned down part of our wonderful city. We're looking for volunteer firefighters. Go on in there and help that fire chief. Let him put out that rage and the blazing. I want to hear it again. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Now where did they get enough water to put out blazing fire? Right hand side, Mr. Gritter Falls. Half a million gallons of water sold your bitter head in. You give him a point. And you got Wilson Farms, home of the giant farm swing. Barn swing so giant it'll swing your feet up above your head 90 feet into the air. I guess you could say that there are no chickens in that barn. Yeah, folks, I, I did mention fire in the hole back there. I want to take this moment to say that this is the grand finale year of fire in the hole. If you go on in fire in the hole, you can ride that ride as much as you'd like, anytime you'd like this season. Helping the fire chief douse the raging blazing flames. As always, keep an eye out for those pesky bald knobbers. And maybe, just maybe this year, we can finally help Red Flanders find his pants. Woo! Folks, we're descending on down here into the valley of the giant coasters. Giant coaster one, powder keg up ahead on your left hand side, our candy coaster. Lasting you zero to breathless and two and a half heartbeats. I don't know about that for sure though, folks. I passed out before that one half part. All I got was a picture of me looking like I was sleeping on a roller coaster. <laughs> and on your right hand side, the wooden structure. Mixing with all of them trees is the one and the only Outfall Run. Outfall Run is the fastest ride in all of Silver Dollar City. As an 81 degree drop, spinning upside down, not once, not twice, no, but three whole times. Outlaw run. We're gonna get another look at Outlaw run a little later on in our train ride. I don't mean to alarm anybody, but speaking of outlaws, I got word at the depot that them two notorious outlaws out being Ralph B. Bowling have busted out of the flooded mine prison and been located in this part of the woods. Hey, everybody keep your eyes crossed, your fingers peeled. You might catch a glimpse of them outlaws. If you have any gold or silver in your teeth, well just keep your mouth shut. They've learned to work a pair of pliers between the two of them. <laughs> We're coming up on the engineer's favorite part of the whole ride. Moonshine stump. Yes folks, if you want to taste that moonshine, let me know. We'll drop you off and pick you up later. And I do mean pick you up. As any local knows, any moonshine that you find in the sun this time of year is probably frog water. The reason they call it frog water is you take one sip, you start hopping, two sips, you turn a Kermit shade of green, and three sips, you croak. Had a frog in my throat. Ah. 
Folks, as we come around this curve up here, I want you to take a look to your left hand side. You're gonna see trees. Looking on over to your right hand side, you're gonna see trees. That's because we're in the woods. We are in snake country, so make sure you're keeping all your hands and arms inside the train. Just the other day, a 97-pound rattle-headed copper moccasin dropped down on top of car number three, grabbed the lady by the arm, and yanked her out of the car. Ain't seen evidence of her or the snake since. Reportedly, though, her husband was down at the local saloon. Fine rounds for everybody singing Happy Days are here again! Folks, we will be shortly entering the small town of Pottersville, where the population is four. Hey, Ichabod, why don't you give me four toots on the whistle? One brief them folks left in Pottersville. Ichabod, I said four toots. Well, I guess that just goes to show that Ichabod's not real good at counting. Can't say that surprised me a whole lot, though. Hey, stick a bottle of three and one was the other day. He said that piece. Three and one is oil. There it is on your right hand side. Oh, it looks like the population is three now. I guess the dog ran away. There's Pottersville on your right hand side. And we are leaving the large. Ichabod, what are you doing stopping my train down here in the middle of snake country? There ain't no scheduled stops down here. Oh, I see what's going on. It's those two notorious outlaws, Alfie and Ralphie Bowling. They're flagging down the train on the right-hand side. Everybody say, oh, no. Oh, yeah. All righty, folks. Let's see if we can't scare them off. Shake your fist at them. Call them ugly. ugly. Now, folks, that ain't going to scare a church mouse off a holy piece of Swiss cheese on a Sunday morning. Shake your fist at them. Call them ugly. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! Yeah, well, we might be ugly. We are the ones that are supposed to be miles in the east and see us. Ain't nobody came out here wanting to see either one of you two, but you better just tell me what you're doing inside my train down here in the middle of the country. Well, I can tell you, we stopped you out here to warn you. Oh, warn me about what? Yankees! Yankees! Nine of them. Nine of the big... You missed it by one. Nine of the biggest old Yankees you ain't ever going to see right up here around the bend. Got these big old woodworks sticks. They're swinging, they're swatting, ain't hitting nothing. And they're swinging and swatting, why aren't they hitting nothing? I think they're New York Yankees. Holding <laughs> 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 there ain't the Yankees down here for years. Years. They're back. They're back. They're back. And let me tell you about them now. They are mean. Hold mean. on. How do you know the Yankees are mean? Because why stop me and Rappy? He sneaky up on a little pot like in the bush and heard him talking. What is that? Bushes didn't say nothing, they don't talk. I thought it was you. Block at the Yankees! Oh, they said, Woo! Yeah! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Where's the Yankees out there? I don't speak Yankee, none of my passengers speak Yankee. We don't have any idea what any of the. Good thing I do. Okay, what's it mean? It means they're gonna swoop down on your train. Woo! They're gonna jump up and down on the roof. Yeah! They're gonna steal everybody's gold and silver. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to put a on this test yeah, I'm not buying your Yankee story. You don't have to, it's free. It's, it's not even worth that. Folks, I'm not sure what to make of these two, especially this one, but I'm going to go check on them Yankees for your safety. Good idea. Yeah, I got another good idea. You two stop. Get back up the hill. Stay away from my train and you stay away from my passengers. If I come back and I catch a ginger one of you anywhere near it, you're going to get a big surprise. Surprise? Wait, wait a minute, is that like a surprise to switch guys? My brainy belly button. Give my surprise to Ralph. Yeah, you give my surprise to Ralph. <laughs> Hello, Ralph. What we got going on today is the stick-up. 
Y'all might want to laugh at that. It ain't going to get no better. Okay. <laughs> this is a great robbery. I need everybody to get your hands up in the air and act scared. Everybody. Everybody, Rob. Come on, get them out. Hey, Rob, look at them. We all got to go to the inside. What are you doing? I'm acting up scared like you said. You're on my side. That's the part that scares me. <laughs> if I told you to jump off the cliff and to pile of rocks, you going to do that? Well, no, not again. <laughs> At least you're learning. Hey, remember what we talked about in the sack last night? No, about... The birds in the fleet. No, not about the birds in the fleet. It's about train robbing. Oh, train robbing. Oh, train robbing. Yeah, look, there's a train. You do remember? <laughs> Woo! -hoo! All right, we got a train. Come on, that conductor just walked off the lead out here. I tell you what, we got to hurry, though. We don't want to get caught. I'm going to get the back two cars. You're going to get the high roller. The high roller? Yeah, here's what we want. Go. Go. Silver, silver, copper dollar. Copper dollar. All right, get some off the Y'all got any gold and silver? Gold, silver, copper. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what we like out here. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Any gold or silver? No. Copper? Any sense at all? No. I think I know that either. Gold or silver? Gold or silver? Y'all got any gold or silver? Got any sense at all? I get him taffy. <laughs> You got any gold or silver or copper or funnel cake? Sounds good, Joe. Yeah. Sounds good, too. Still, you have to do your bill. How are you doing? Got any gold or silver? Fresh out. That's the next one right to get in. How are you doing? Got any gold or silver? No, I ain't got any gold or silver. Now, I ain't got some for you. Lead. I don't want lead. Why don't you want lead? I need to run that around lead. I did earlier. It's hot out here. <laughs> Call your sister up here. You like it? I don't care if you like it. I'm calling up here. Up here. I don't like it. Not what I meant. That's what you said. You're yep. about this close to a complete idiot. Am I really? Yes, How close you are. Is that? I don't think that's doing anything. <laughs> I barely feel it. <laughs> mm. 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 Exactly. 
Ichabod has stopped the train for a second, and that is because Ichabod is switching places with his brother Ichabod. Ichabod and Ichabod do switch off places throughout the day. Sometimes Ichabod needs to take a break to get a bite to eat, grab a cool drink of water, something like that. Whatever temperature it is down here, it's about 20 degrees hotter up there in that engine next to that fire, so... So Ichabod takes a break with his brother Ichabod, and they switch off places throughout the day. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look on over the left hand side. If you see Ichabod standing over there and waving at you, I want you to wave to him and say bye Ichabod. There he is on the left hand side. Wave say bye Ichabod. Bye. Bye Casey. <laughs> over on your left hand side over there past Ichabod. we got the red built the roundhouse where we store and maintain our nearly 100 year old steam trains. And on the right hand side, Mystic River Falls. Call a practice water ride in all the Western Hemisphere guaranteed to get you wet and give you thrills every single time. Just not necessarily in that order. <laughs> on your right hand side on the rocky shores of Lake Silver, Fireman's Landing. Dedicated to all of our firefighters and first responders across Western 